A lot of people, they struggle with the marketing. So you're coming to you to me, you're already switched on, you understand internet, internet marketing, internet funnels. And we know the hardest thing to actually build is get that, the, you know, that marketing funnel in place from the very beginning. So I just any new instructors out there, what tips would you give them? They've got the course, but long term, we know, you know, they need to build a presence off of Udemy. And I'm talking social presence now, you know, looking back over, you know, your successes and your failures, you know, what do you think is one of the sort of the, the key things that they need to be thinking about? Does that make sense? Absolutely. And I can answer that very quickly. I mean, it's blogging because that's going to give you mm. expertise. It's going to give you authority on topic. That's the number one ranking factor with Google these days as well is authority on topic. And the only way that you're going to get that is to put your expertise out there. You can give away your entire course one blog at a time, just break it up with some other blogs. Nobody's going to go back and piece all that stuff together, you know, and, and they want it in a very step by step way that doesn't waste their time and they get it all in one place. So you can actually give it all away, but give out the pieces of your information. Do things like this, blab. You know, I jumped on this uh, as quickly as I could because this is a perfect medium for me. HOAs would have been, except they got too complicated. And I have time for all that. I've got all the learning curves I understand now. Um, but this is stupid simple. I love it. They're going to keep it that way. And I can do one-to-one -one engagement with people. I started a show immediately to answer those questions. I don't have to tell people I'm an expert. I show them. You know, mm -hmm. they ask me a question, I can answer. I can answer with authority because... I've been doing it a long time. I know what I'm talking about. And when I don't know, I say, I don't know, but I can check. So it's a transparency. It's an uh, authentic way of doing things. And if you can blog in that manner where you're making that one-on-one -on -one connection with people that you're trying to help them, uh, then that's going to help a lot. And you keep putting your information out there on every platform that you can get on, but make sure that you have a hub for it. The next thing is get that email list going. Even if you're not going to send out a newsletter, I've got a lot of clients say, I don't even know what to send. Don't worry about it. You collect that address. You put together 10 tips as a giveaway. <laughs> you know, get 10 tips or, or put up an autoresponder or something to give away your expertise to these people. Yeah. Make sure that you're staying in front of them. Get them to sign up to your blog post. Get them to subscribe to your podcast. Whatever it is you've got, get them to subscribe to your uh, blab. But you stay top of mind and really push on that. The other thing is like this, getting in with industry experts, you know, and coming to talk to you. Mark, your group is fantastic for that. I found so many great people on there uh, to follow and to learn from. And, you know, they're top of mind to me for the things that they do and maybe even go take some of their courses. So uh, getting into blabs with discussions like this. So I would say do everything you can do to build your own authority on your topic. Make sure you find where your people are. And then once you have a tribe, then you have somebody to extract an income from. You know, not only do you have something to sell, but you have somebody to sell it to. And that's probably way more important than course. <clears throat> yeah, and they're happy to do that, aren't they, Mayanna? They're happy to exchange because, and the important thing here is this is what I always talk about is, you know, the social proof. When we talk about social proof, we often think in terms of, you know, student numbers on Udemy. And as really, you know, we know if you, you know, anyone who's been on like Google Plus and Google Plus, that's a brilliant platform for this, you know. You put your expertise out there. You lay it out for free. You let people have a real good look at you, you know, and that's the key thing. People have got to have it. So when people think about, I'm not going to give it away for free. I'm struggling to give it away for free. What they're missing is if you don't give it away for free, they're never going to know you. And if they don't know you, they won't buy from you. So you have to give something away for free. Blabs, blogs, video blogs. If you can't write YouTube, there's so many ways you can give valuable content away for free. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop out and make sure somebody else has a chance to jump in the thing. I wanted to pop in and just support Dave and you guys. So thanks for having me. Appreciate I'm sure we'll catch up again in a future blab. I think we've all started an addiction here. <laughs>